guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's Monet. That was really crispy for me, my first noise of the day. Good morning, y'all. We're in my new fucking room. I'm gonna do a full day of my life in my new place, in my new routine, because this is what really gets my fire going. Last week was such a beautiful vacation, like good vibes, but I know before I mentioned I was gonna chill out on traveling, but genuinely, I wanna be home. I really wanna make this place my home and get in my new routine here. I feel like I'm talking really loud because the camera's far as hell and I look so small in this bed, but I kinda wanna give you perspective and kinda, you can get acclimated to the new space because you know, I did the move-in vlog, and then I did the housewarming vlog, and y'all haven't seen it since. So, it's only fair to break in the new home with you guys, too. YouTube girls. So, I have a bunch of little tasks I want to do today that I feel like would be so fun to do together, because this is my one day this week that I don't have calls or anything to do, like, deliver. Well, a few things, but we can do that together, too. So, I really want to make the most of the day. It's actually... 9 30 bruh that's a pretty late start to my day because as you can see this window lots of beautiful natural light that comes in but the sun rises through this window right here at 7 25 it starts to sizzle me and cooks me on this bed <laughs> and then by 7 40 like i'm actually on fire and i have to get up which is really nice honestly like it just gets me up naturally but today i've been finding a new technique in my sleep to just like make a cold cover and like burrow under it and that's what i did this morning and i couldn't wake up for shit so you guys really hold me accountable you guys really make me feel real productive okay, let's start today by making the bed okay let me give you some tea about my bed so it's actually king size and i think i'm actually gonna downgrade to a queen because it is very big and my last bed was like a full or a twin i don't know it was smaller and I think upgrading to this size has just been so overwhelming and I would be laying like horizontal sometimes. I'm just like, this is a lot. <laughs> I got my mattresses from Casper. I got one king and one queen and I put the queen in the guest room and then I put the king in here. So I think I'm actually doing a little switcheroo. The guests will be living in luxury. Everything is a work in progress, by the way. I don't know what's going on with this bedding right now, but it half of it's from the old house. Half of it is like just to fit a king size because I don't know that. And I got my bed frame coming, like things are in the works, okay? But this is what it is right now. I also got this weighted blanket from Casper. <gasps> it is so heavy. It literally is my favorite part of my sleep. It literally knocks me out every night. So I kind of put it like a layer like that. And then I also have this one. I also have this one. <laughs> lots of blankets. I just like to be so comfy in this bed and I just have lots of layers to it. This day is strapped. The Xbox, I've been playing Fortnite. Like, I've literally been thinking about doing a Twitch or like just YouTube Fortnite games. Like, let me know if that would be of interest. Cause I think it's really fucking funny. Okay, but step one, bed is made. Ooh, little bathroom update. I got this installed in the wall for more storage because it's kind of been filling up in here quickly. But I haven't really thought about what I want to display out here. Like, maybe I just do my perfumes like that. I'm not sure exactly, but. Not gonna lie, I've been slacking on my hygiene. I feel like I haven't really gotten to my routine here. So that's my job today is to like get the fuck on it because I can't not be brushing my teeth. I can't not be like washing my face and like changing my clothes. I think I just kind of was so exhausted when I got back from the trip. And even on the trip, like I felt like mm, I wasn't even doing my makeup. I just kind of been surviving every day. So I'm excited to be the best version of myself, okay? Starting this vlog, let's brush these teeth. I don't be talking a lot. I hope you guys miss me because I miss you. <sighs> what are you just calling me? Right in the morning? Hello. Hey. I just want to check in on you. Aww. Yeah, how are you feeling? How's everything? Aww, I was like, I was looking concerned. I was like, is something wrong? Like, he's calling me early. <laughs> I'm also vlogging. I'm like, you in your little new apartment. Hi, vlog. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi. Uh, yeah, Reefy, isn't it crazy? Like, I'm trying to get back in my routine. <laughs> so we're all fresh and clean. Now we made it to the kitchen. 
here's my little kitchen. She's definitely moved in at this point. Literally, Reefy called me, and then Bookie called me, and then Mom called me. So I was on the call with all of them this morning, just trying to get everything in order. And like, like I just have a bunch of little things I need to do today. And I was like, what's going on? Like, I'm just trying to get my life in order. That's it, period. So the kitchen, I feel like, let's just let's just start with the kitchen. long way to go with the kitchen, but I think my main thing is to get new dish dishware and stuff. Like I had black in the old house, like mom, we've had them literally my entire life. And I wanna scroll on Amazon together and order like, I wanna get an ice maker for my freezer where like the automatic makes like the crushed, like the Chick-fil-A kind of ice. Cause that is such a, like, oh my God, I didn't even know I could do that. So I'm gonna try to order one of those. Maybe some fun like ice cube trays and just like more, I don't know, we're going grocery shopping today too because this has been a week of friends. Like, like this has been a week of friends, y'all. So Taj came over Sunday and I realized that there's a few things I didn't pick up. Um, Alon came over yesterday. I'm gonna go see Samira tomorrow. I'm gonna to get lunch on Thursday. And Kiara moves up here on Friday. Yo, I got these home pods. This is a, it's called a home pod from Apple, you know? Like, I was an Alexa girly for a second. I barely, I mean, I honestly barely used it because, I don't know, she never really gave with her shuffle. I'm like, Alexa, shuffle, Drake. And then the second song, we're like on a whole different vibe. But these home pods, literally, you just literally tap it once. And it's like, mm, shuffling all Monet McMichael's favorite music in the entire world because it's synced up to my Apple Music, which I'm Apple Music girly. And also I have one in my bathroom and they connect to all your Apple devices. So I can just play it from my phone. And if I want to play it on my desktop too, I can play it on my laptop, like all the same song at the same time. So when I be like, I'm cleaning, like walking from my room to the kitchen, like the same song is playing. Like I go in my office, like it's playing on my desktop. It's a little vibe, I'm not gonna lie. So I got, this is the big one for the kitchen. And then I got the mini one for my bathroom, which is so perfect for like showers and stuff too. Like I love it. I have like become obsessed with kombucha and Synergy is like my, First love, my first favorite, but recently I've been, you know, I'm, I don't discriminate too much. So this is my first time getting the big bottles. And I realized that, I don't know, like I was trying to be like money conscious, like and not just buying bottles of kombucha every day. Um, but after you open it, it, it loses the fizz, you know what I'm saying? So I've already poured like, I've had these for like a week now and they're just like not bubbly. Like I want it to be. Probiotics, 9 billion living probiotics. I feel like, you know, if I can take care of my gut health, like I eat like shit the night before and I'm like, I had a kombucha in the morning, so I'm fine. I got this cup on Amazon. I actually, I actually came in a pack of two and it took weeks to deliver. I remember I ordered this like early July and it came like mid middle of August. I forgot I even ordered them, but I'm so happy they came because I'm into this for my little morning kombucha. So I linked them in my storefront and my storefront's always in my description, by the way, because I feel like a lot of people don't know that. You know, I've been updating it more so with like household stuff because I'm finding a lot of stuff that I like. So my routine basically is like kombucha when I wake up. I love it on like a fresh stomach. Cause I feel like it just gets the, you know, it hits different. And then I'll probably have coffee. And I got my coffee right here. I brewed it a little too soon. So I think I might put it over ice and then just take it to go. Let's have a little iced coffee today. And then the next stop today, I think, let's change into an outfit to leave the house. And I literally haven't left the house since I got home on Friday. My goal today is to find a gym that I wanna go to because you know I used to go to Lifetime, which is my shit. And there is a Lifetime around here, but it's in the city though. I don't know if I want to pay those tolls every day and go to the gym, like it's probably gonna stop me from going. So let's see, this is the same dresser from my old house. I brought her over, she made the trip. I need to feel comfortable today because I'm gonna be honest, I feel so uncomfortable in my body. It's not even funny, like, ugh. I was really on my grind. You know, you get that relationship weight. <laughs> and I'm like, it's one thing, cause he can eat whatever, he can eat whatever. And he just like, literally just looks amazing. But I don't know, as me, as a female, as, as someone who loves food, oh, it's just not, it's, it just caught up to me so quickly. And I just feel so unhealthy. And I just love Chipotle. Maybe these regular leggings. And like a big ass shirt, like bro, we are not wearing no tiny little crop top right now. I'm not looking forward to the start. This is just the start. You know how it goes. Whew, okay, that's better. 
That's fine. This is fine. This is fine. I can do this one. Yo, I, you don't like when you just feel real uncomfortable in your body? Like, I'm just, like, my shit. Like, uh, 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 okay, let me chill. But I'm really excited to go to Whole Foods. There's one. I also have my car here, y'all, which makes me so happy. I still have my car. Usually with city life, you have to sacrifice your car. You have to just walk everywhere, like Uber everywhere. But I have my car. I can still like just do my little thing. So I'm gonna drive over. Target's like 10 minutes away. Whole Foods is like 10 minutes. I think I'm gonna go just like, honestly, I feel like it's a form of self-care. It's like grocery shopping. And just like having my music on and just strolling around and just like zoning out. I fucking love it. So I think I'll just end up giving you guys a haul of what I get. Cause I'm really trying to just like round out my diet a little bit because I usually keep my staples in the fridge but I definitely want to be able to cook at home every day. I'm gonna get some proteins and also Jalen's coming over for about a week. I'm really excited for him to just like be here. And I'm gonna just make sure my fridge is stocked with like fish, like salmon we'll try, chicken, breast so I can cut into a salad. Maybe I'll get some lettuce and shit. Maybe I'll have a salad tonight. Some like egg whites and like turkey bacon, you know, so I can actually eat a breakfast and like maybe try I'll do yogurt parfait for like lunch-ish and then like a solid dinner. Just wanna be well rounded. Also wanna stop about my liquors. I'm trying to have a little rose ready to go. I remember literally two vlogs ago I was telling y'all trying to get on my shit, but shit happens. So let's go grocery shop and let's go find a gym. Hi vlog. So I'm not gonna lie, the gym hunt this morning, I really thought I was gonna go one way and it just like here we are an hour later and I'm stressed because I feel very stuck and uncomfortable and like trying to find my new routine. Like I had it down packed, obviously my at my last place. That's all I knew. I got it down, like I was comfortable, like I had, you know. You gonna let me over? I'm fucking driving in New York City right now. Like I was not expecting to do this right now. I was not expecting to cross over the bridge. So basically the first spot that I went to, it was so overwhelming. It was one of the closer gyms to my place. Um, and it would have made the most sense like driving wise, utility wise, like it's a bigger gym. The vibes, you know just when the vibes are not it, it just kind of gave a little meat heady, very humid, very sweaty. I don't know, that's just not the vibe I like to be on. Like I know it just wasn't the gym for me. I think it blows my mind that I basically live in New York now though. I'm just like, my childhood dream. Like I dead ass like live my whole life. Just like, I love New York, I love New York. Y'all already know I love New York. How many times do I have to say it? And let me just ground myself and just be like, I live here now and I'm just trying to figure out my new life here now. Yes, it might be a little overwhelming at first. Like, yeah, I'm trying to find the, the place that fits. But I'm so happy. I am happy to be here. So period. See, you gotta just ground yourself a little bit. You know, I'm not stressed anymore. This is a good problem to have. This is a fun problem. This is part of my life that I've been looking forward to. So let's figure it out. We're back home. We got all our groceries, girls. Seriously, I got flights of stairs. And even if I don't go to the gym, that's my workout. If I leave the house, that's my workout. But I stock the fridge together. I typically, I feel like I would have done this for a TikTok, but I feel like I'm gonna spoil the YouTube girls this week. I feel like I'm gonna do all the fun little things that, I think a lot of my content, I kind of stick to TikTok. Like I had like an eight part like moving series basically. I know you guys had like one good YouTube video. Like it was, a, I did share a lot there. I shared, I shared a lot more there. I don't know, it's give and take with the content, you know? It's like you get longer form feelings on YouTube, but like TikTok, it's more of like the visually appealing, you know? Nice coffee, by the way. Mm. I basically have a call actually in like 20 minutes. So I got penciled in today and I thought I didn't have any calls or anything, but we on the clock, girls. This is a Samsung fridge, by the way. So freaking cool, so fancy, I literally have the ice and like fucking filtered water, like that's an upgrade that's so cool. I'm so excited about that. I also got a lot of beverages too. So I think I'm gonna try to like take them all out of all the cartons and just like make them really nice and organized. Are they taking out the trash? <gasps> Is my trash cans being taken out? <gasps> oh no. I literally just got so excited <laughs> because I, one of my big girl purchases was fucking trash bins, you guys. Like, those were expensive. I've always had like a dumpster that I just walked around and used that big ass dumpster, which helped, which was honestly really helpful because I get a lot of PR. So now, even when I do my unboxings, like those garbage bins don't even fit like all of my 
like breakdown boxes and stuff. Like now that I live in a, a house, I have to be aware of the trash man when he comes to pick up the trash and stuff. And I also already got a ticket for like disposing of my trash the wrong way. I was like, I don't have fucking trash bins yet, but I can't like, I thought if I just put it on the curb, like they would still get the hint, but no, I got a ticket. <laughs> so you know, adulting 101. I might just start stuffing the fridge right now so I can be on time for my call. And maybe you guys will enjoy this little time lapse of me breaking out boxes and filling in the, putting my bags and like all my foods in here. Maybe we can do like a what I grocery shop for in a week kind of vibe, but I think you guys saw the vibes. Just lots of fresh produce, breakfast stuff, and dinner stuff, and like some yogurt stuff. I feel like other than that, it's pretty like simple. I'm trying to keep it clean. But yeah, I basically ended up, di I, I ended up finding my gym, okay? It was, a, it was a little journey, but I think I found my gym, which is so fire. So I'm gonna try to test out tomorrow, see what the vibes are like. Let's hop on this call. Let's get to work. Okay, so let me show you guys my new office. Okay, she's still under construction, okay? But, 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 okay, yeah, definitely still has so many things. I'm like, just trying to make it functional at this point. Not so worried about perfection anytime soon. Um, I'm about to just create a reminders task list. I'm supposed to do that this morning, but I think now that I'm sitting down, I kind of did majority like what I wanted to do off the top of my head. I'm like obsessed with reminders. Like I literally use them every day, really. Just so you can see I have all these other tabs, home content ideas, my grocery list, new gym routine, just so like I have all this easy access. Like what kind of meals I can make at home. Cause sometimes I literally get stuck and I'm just like, what do I want to eat? Like, I don't know what to eat. And then I end up ordering out. And that's not gonna be the case. I can't, I can't. Let's see, I already stopped by. I opened my PO box today, check. I found my new gym today, check. I went grocery shopping today, check. Okay, I found the keys to my new mailbox. Now I have a call at 3 p.m. You can kind of like bunch them into things like that, that's what I do. I need to book flights for family vacay. Do you guys remember last Christmas when I surprised my family with the family trip? We're finally doing it. So I'm super excited, like Gabriel, for Gabriel to go on a vacation to finally be with like mom, Reefy, and Gabriel again for the first time in forever. Ever since Reefy left, like that's the last time we all hung out together and I miss my family. So I'm excited to all be together again. Finish unboxing in the office and beauty room. I'm also gonna show you the guest room, maybe just get that together. I did laundry. Laundry's been really fun too, y'all. Like adulting, like I've never had my own washer and dryer. I know I mentioned it before, but it's like a big fucking deal to me. <laughs> I'm just gonna slowly fill in like more personal things on this reminders list and then also just kind of brainstorm the week because I just wanna make the most of it. I'm gonna get to work for a little bit and then I'm gonna show you, and then we'll move to the other room and I can show you what we're working with and just get to making this house a home. That's gonna be my favorite line. Hi. So hey y'all. You look so cute. Yeah. Mama's still running around doing some last minute things with the apartment because we got to make sure that's cleared out. I'm trying. I can't wait to see my baby again. I was trying to tell mom and I'm, I had a consultation for my closet yesterday and I didn't get to tell y'all. Yeah, I was I was literally just getting to it, but I had a conversation with California Closets. Her name's Debbie. She came up. She was so cute. She had her glasses on. She literally had like a sparkle in her eye. Like she was just so cute and so happy. <laughs> and like me and Alon were so excited too. So it was just like a bunch of girls just like building a dream closet. She was prepared. She had her laptop. She had her iPad. She was like, we're going to talk. She's like, this is what, how it's going to go. We're going to brainstorm like what your wants and needs are. We're going to look at your space. We're going to measure everything. And you're gonna look through like my pamphlets, pick what kind of handles you want, what kind of finishes. We'll talk budget and like timeline. It was a whole thing. So they specialize in like any kind of storage. So like entertainment stands too and like building out my beauty room. So we kind of, I was like, yo, this has me excited. Cause I definitely wanna take advantage of all the space. Like I have such high ceilings and like, I don't wanna just have so much furniture everywhere. Kind of more like built in units, so. So yeah, it was so fun. Like basically built on my whole closet where we take advantage of like all the space. And let me show you like the CGI rendering. This is what it looks like girls. So I'm gonna show you what my actual closet looks like now so you can see how this upgrade is gonna be so beneficial. Cause they did not set me up for success in my closet right now. Like there's like n no hanging space. There's no, like it just doesn't make any sense. So yeah. And even the depth of it, like the cap, like, yeah. So they're gonna hook me up. Okay, so let me show you my closet, what it's giving right now, okay? I have my, this is my room. Beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous, so much potential. I think that's what it's giving, it's just so much potential. 
And as you can see, literally this is not even half my clothes and it's all just super stuff. I think just functionally my pants, like I'm a tall girl, so all my pants are naturally gonna be this long and I'm probably, I've tried to fold my pants before, but I just, I just like them hanging. Um, as you can see also, there's no rod here and this is kind of just like a big waste of space that I could be taking advantage of. So I think this corner section is taking up a lot of space, which I think my shoes, like I love the shoes displayed like this, but I don't know. I just, don't you agree? We can just make more of this space. So I like the cubby action, how, you know, you see in my sweatsuits and I had that before basically in the old house. So we're keeping that vibe. We still have lots of space like this, but also going to be for bags, for shoes. We'll still have the corner section, but it'll be a lot smaller so that we have the cubbies here. We'll have a drawer section here. We'll have like an opening to put like flowers and like a mirror and like perfume. So it can be like a pretty little section, more space above. It's going to go a lot higher and then we'll have lots of hanging units. So like total, I'll have nine feet. So, but just for reference, my king bed is six feet, which honestly had me shook. This is just, this is six feet. So imagine like three more feet. That's how much hanging space I'll have in the closet total. So that makes me really excited. Have a lot more clothes in here, a lot more access. I'm probably gonna put a little rug in here and just make the most of it. So this is the before. You guys will definitely be getting an update. I just scheduled when they're gonna come and build it. They have to first come and take out what I have here. Um, and then they're gonna come install it in October. So the reason why I have to wait also is because they're, they're custom cutting the wood to go in my closet, which is so cool. So cool, so cool that the, this is my place that I can actually do those things too because you know, being in an apartment when you're renting, you can't be doing stuff like that. And also just having the funds to like actually build my dream closet. I'm so grateful and so excited that I get to just do this. So while we're here giving some house updates, I don't think I showed you my beauty room yet, did I? I don't know if I've showed you my beauty room update because we've come a long way. Girl, girl, look at my vanity. This is an impressions vanity. And they were so gracious to gift me one. Like I am just so in awe of how gorgeous this piece is. So thank you so much impressions vanity. This is a beast. All the drawers, I don't know if you guys saw like, okay, let me show you my, my last vanity, okay? So keep this in mind. So this is what we this is what we upgraded to and this is the before oh she's so cute <laughs> and i love her so much like this is this is my vanity and she still does her thing like this is from amazon that i got it's still linked in my storefront if it's available but she did the thing like these lights are might tiny but mighty super nice just like soft glow and i think it was about 200 dollars for the full mirror it comes with plug in, there's a charger on the side, there's all the settings for the lighting, like she did her thing. And the desk was from Ikea, so they're two separate pieces that I just made into my own little vanity. So, love her, but as you can see, storage-wise, we just had this small drawer, and then this drawer, which was just like my desk stuff, this also was like my working desk. So now I have the office to have its own, like my own work stuff, and now I have like a full place just for my beauty stuff, which is super exciting. Like, girls, we can make it work too though, like, this did its thing. I also had just additional storage that kind of was in another closet. You know, it's all about compartmentalizing. <laughs> but now, I'll just while I'm here, I'll just show you the guest room. I did get a dresser in here. It's the same one that's in my room, just for like extra space and storage, you know? Mom already has slept over like three times, which is so exciting. Taj, Taj slept over the other day, which is so cute. I was so excited. Like, I was like, can you use the bathroom? I have all skincare stuff. I got toothbrush. I got jammies i got a robe for you i got you know a charger in your room like you are set like you could just crash <laughs> that just makes me so happy like i've always wanted to just like host so i'm excited to get this room real nice um but this this is the queen mattress i was telling you about this is the queen bed so i really like this size and the mattress from casper y'all it's so comfortable like i've only ever known like mattress toppers so the fact that this mattress by itself is like so comfortable. I've never like slept so well. I'm um, just super happy. And I hope this isn't too much me just like sharing all these upgrades. But I think that this journey is just so beautiful and so exciting. And I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I don't want to just come off too, too much. Like this is all the new things I got. But 
yeah, I've never, I've never upgraded like this in my life. So I feel like we should be proud of ourselves, you know? This is the guest room, so cute. This is my mirror for my old room. And also this one as well. It kind of gives like my old room vibe, so cute. So yeah, this is the guest bathroom. I also did get these night lights on Amazon, which I really like, they're automatic. See, once it's light in here, it'll turn off. Once it's dark, it'll turn on, which I really like. So at night, like you don't have to go and just manually do all that. So once it's dark enough, it's not all spooky in the house. So what I was saying was when I film here, the background is the doors. And I just don't think it's that cute for like, you know, my last get rid of me section was so cute. I had my mirror, my lights, my plants. Like it was just very aesthetically pleasing for me. So I'm thinking, I'm like, what if I put the vanity on this wall, you know? So the sun isn't so bright. And like, I can also use the lighting from that. I'll also have curtains, blackout curtains and shears. So like if I, if it ever is too much for the light to be coming this way. But the view would be this side. So I have all potential to like deck out this wall behind me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I might have to just move it and see how I like it on this wall. I don't want it to be too crowded coming into the door like this. So just all ideas. I also could just put it straight in the center of this wall, which I don't think really makes most sense. But I also do love like when you look into the room, you can see the vanity instead of having it on this wall where it's like you have to fully be in here to see it. I'm just, sorry if this is too much, but I feel like this might be an interesting conversation and I wanna hear your opinion. So if you wanna comment down below, like keep vanity where it is, put it on the middle wall or put it on the front wall. But I'm gonna have to feel it out for a little bit. I also vote the front wall too, just because I'll have that corner and I wanna get like a couch and like a rug and like have my friends be able to hang out in here while we get ready. This could be like the vibe room. Okay, I feel like that was oversharing to the max. I like this lip oil. Okay, okay, how's lips? I feel like I've been going a lot today. I had some intense calls, scheduling things. I think making decisions sometimes at the end of the day too is very like overwhelming. So I think I'm gonna spend some time just scrolling, getting inspiration for the place, maybe ordering a few things. And let's see what we make with the rest of our day. So, so far I haven't even checked in, it's 5 p.m. Baddie's only playlist, which is also always linked in my description in every YouTube video, by the way. Hey, this is actually the craziest thing that just happened because I'm in the zone on Amazon right now. Like literally, <laughs> this is so cool. I'm looking at kitchen stuff. I started scrolling on TikTok, like looking for like kitchen essential essentials. Cause I think I'm gonna start with my kitchen. I think I realized like biting off room by room is like, more successful for me instead of just getting like random little things for every room. So I'm gonna work on the kitchen right now. <laughs> and I ended up getting like a kitchen, I'm gonna show you what I ended up putting, but I ended up going to Google then and I was like, what are the best, like, I was like best Amazon storefronts for like house. Cause I know there's so many girls out there who have like a curated Amazon vibe. And I have a storefront, but I feel like I'm, it just takes a while to build. And I think there's a few out there that I definitely just wanted to like figure out. So I found this one from Refinery and I'm scrolling and I'm like, okay. So I open all these and I'm like the first glance, I'm like, ooh, these are cute like vibes. Like this is a cute, like fun, cutesy vibe. We got Cami. I have these straws, already gifted them for my birthday. So cute. Some like bed stuff, kitchen, like period. I'm excited to look through this one. Oh my gosh, like how, this is a good storefront. Like that's crazy. Okay, Cami. And then we got DeAsia. See, this is the type of elevated stuff I was looking for. Like I like cups like this. Love the vibes going on. And I'm like scrolling through this one. And the next one, the next one was mine. I was like, what? Like actually caught me off guard because I'm like, why am I in the top five Amazon storefront? Like my storefront is cute. Okay, let, honestly, let's pull up my storefront. Let's see what it's giving. Let's see what it's giving when someone clicks on this link because love this light. Honestly, I couldn't even tell you where it is though. Now that I think about it, like I've realized so many things that haven't made this move with me and I'm like, now where is my expensive ass light? There's this one hoodie I realized. I'm like, I didn't pack that hoodie. Love her. This is my Lacey external hard drive. I literally have like three of them. Super good. This is the tripod that I use for filming my standing TikToks. This is the Sony that I'm literally filming on right now. This is my storefront girls. Okay, I did a collection with Amazon The Drop last year, which they still have them all up here, which is super cute. But here's like my household favorite storefront. So like these are the Christmas lights that I use in my last room. I'm probably gonna order some more. All my velvet hangers. I got these laundry bags. Um, I got this hanging rack. 
This is for like a glass shower now that I have. I'm like, I need to figure out how to clean them. Not sure how much I liked this silverware drawer organizer because I'm so used to that being like laid out. This is kind of like a stacked moment, but I do have slim drawers, so still getting used to those. I have these sheets on my bed right now. They're really nice. Got a tape measure. These king pillows, king size pillows are really good. Love these in my bathroom. This made such a good, this made such a difference. Like I use all of these things like on a daily. So having them in a pretty display is everything. This is literally the two on my bed right now. <laughs> I use this one and then this is the comforter. Obviously I feel like this picture, I knew I wasn't gonna get exactly this juiciness, but I mean, I don't know how much I like this color either, but do with it as you will. Um, Love these, love this bathroom set. I use it in my main bathroom. Super chic looking. I have use for literally all of these. These drawer organizers, a must. I just bought two extra ones to like do my other drawers too because I only use it for like my underwear drawer, but I think it literally works for every drawer. These are the pillowcases that I use on the king size pillows. Love them, I think they're so pretty. So this is the hamper that I use. It's so cool that you can see everything. <laughs> um, these are the night lights I was talking about. Show more from the list. Okay, I'm kind of eating, I'm kind of eating. My storefront's kind of big. It's kind of long, okay, love. Love this Tupperware, it's super clean. Like there's no branding like that. I like how it's just super simple. And this set, $44 for like, I'm, so a 13 piece set, so fire. Love these two, super chic cup measures. Use this for my travel, like for my tech. Wouldn't recommend this broom, honestly, I might remove it. Love this for my desktop though, just to elevate it. Let's see, so yeah, I love these glass bottles for like, I use one for my hair and then one for like my plants. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, now I'm just showing you through my storefront. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> She kind of eats. Here's my vanity. So this is the one that I literally just showed you. All my waxing stuff is on here. All different options too. If anything sold out, I just put a few different options. So my sunglass case, all my packing cubes, my toiletry bag, jewelry holder, you know, all the goods. So anyway, that just, that just had me shook that they had my storefront on there. I was not expecting that. But my household favorites kind of eats. So I'm only, it's only gonna be up from there. But I will show you what I end up adding to my cart just from the scroll. I feel like it's gonna be a little dangerous. Okay, girls, we're in the garage. We're in the garage. The echo. I don't know about y'all, but I feel like sometimes I'm easily swayed stress-wise. And it usually takes one thing just to throw off, like to feel like you're under control and then all of a sudden like everything's out of your control. Just me? It just takes one text for me to be like, nothing's fine. And it takes a lot of time to put things back together to feel good. Anyways, I'm in the garage and I'm about to do a Peloton spin because I'm trying to get moving, bro. I'm looking at my, like, not everything is way of car in the city. So I'm trying to, like, look at the bus schedules, look at the train, the sub, ferry, all the tea. I'm, like, the best way to get my day going and I feel inspired. So tomorrow I'm going to wake up at, like, 7 a.m. and hopefully leave the house by 7.30, get to the gym, and get back home by, like, 11. So I'm really excited and I just want to feel, I feel like if I just do a one Peloton spin right now and then I make dinner and then I take a shower and then I lay down, like I want to get in a routine, like I want to get on my hygiene, like this is making me excited. Because I, I, I can do that, like even though we're just still getting set, settled in the place, like I can build a routine and then build those things around it. Period. So behind this Peloton, it's kind of hot in here. But I like how private this is, like I low-key... Would love to build like a little gym in here, but this is also a shared garage eventually. So I'm trying to see how cool my neighbors are when they move in eventually. And then maybe if they're into fitness too, we could just like have a shared space and we'll have each other's numbers. We can be like, hey, I'm gonna work out this morning. Like kind of get on a schedule. I feel like that would be cool, so. Period, now the workout's on here, y'all. I'm still like finding my rate, my favorite instructors and stuff, but. A lot of you guys do Peloton too. I, guess, I got so many comments. I actually partnered with them um, twice before and I love working with them. Like this is such a fun partnership and you guys give me such good recommendations. So if you guys also use Peloton, let me know who your favorite instructors are. I love a good cycling class. Like there was one I tried last week that was a hip hop one. Let's get this little ride on. I want you to do a 30 minute ride. Oh my gosh, she's pregnant. That's so cute. I think this one sounds good. 30 minute. 2010's hip hop ride. You can also do Bluetooth audio, that's fire.
That was so good. First of all, I think I found my girl, Ali Love. Her energy, love. We were literally her playlist. That's what I'm saying. Like, give me a good rap song. Not pick up the phone. Like, you know, I was lit. Oh, that's open. I also just did a stretching class. And it's so cool seeing what they have on here because they have the Peloton app too, but I haven't been able to use the bike as much as I wanted to because I didn't have space like this. And I have space actually as a bike and it's making me so excited. I'm gonna challenge myself and see if I can do a full week. I'm gonna be home for a full week, so I have access to this. I'm gonna try to put it aside 30 minutes every day. You can see how drenched I am. And maybe this is why I was getting bad at like being on top of my hygiene because I wasn't sweating. So I feel like I'm so excited to shower now. I need to shower. I'm not going to bed without showering, so period. So now I think I'm gonna make salmon, rice, and avocado for dinner. Sounds good. I might shower first though and then get to cooking, so. Girls, I'm feeling so good. Like, a good workout dead ass. Like, that mental health boost, that mental health boost after a workout is crazy. Okay, let's make dinner. Tonight we're making salmon, avocado, and rice. Jalen actually put me onto a rice cooker. Before, I used to just cook it in a pot. So this is honestly so simple, so easy. Also, this kitchen lighting, like, as cool as this piece is, it is not my tea. And the light is like, it kind of gives hospital coloring. But yeah, I'm like for the center kitchen piece, it doesn't give like warm and inviting. It gives like sterile. I like this better. But we need some more like warmth over here though. Like that's the only light. Okay, not too bad, but I think lighting is everything. So also on Amazon, I got like a white kitchen knife set with like gray accents and then all the utensils I got with like gray accents. So I think I'm not gonna change out the cabinet color. I really, I do like this like soft gray. It's like kind of muted gray. Do the measuring cups I was telling you about. I do. Almost a full cup of water, almost a full cup of rice. I think a cup of rice is just a little too much. I don't know why, like I feel like before I used to eat a cup of rice like it was nothing, but I think in here like it expands different or something. I don't know, I'll show you. I got this new organic jasmine rice, which I'm excited to try. Period, uh, oh my God, y'all. I ended up getting on FaceTime while I was making dinner and the camera died. But this is the gorgeousness that we made, okay? The salmon looking beautiful. And basically this is like, see, less than like half a cup. Wait, this is like less than a cup and like I still have so much left. So I think I might just start doing half a cup of rice because it's, it's giving a lot. So I'm hyped to scarf this down. I also got my hot sauce. Let's do a little taste test because it's my first like cooked meal at home. This is my first cooked meal at home. Okay, now are you eating this with a spoon or are you eating with a fork? I think I'm gonna eat it with a spoon. I think my heart is telling me to do a spoon. And that's not enough hot sauce now. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I snapped. Oh my god, I'm a little chef. Period. This is so delicious. This whole food salmon, it had the skin on it, which I didn't realize. And I'm like, do I like the skin? I like the skin. That shit is crunchy. That shit is so good. My mouth is exploding. See, now I could do this. I could do this every night. I might even start like meal prepping, but I like cooking dinner. I like, I like having the time to make it fresh. It makes it more fun. I like eating. So like for eating to be like a reheat, eat and be done moment. Like I think it's not as exciting for me. I like the skin dead ass. I cooked the fish. I literally cooked the salmon with no seasoning because I realized like after I started cooking it, I seasoned the fuck out of the rice. So like, I just did olive oil. I'm sorry, I'm dragging this. This is a very simple meal, but like for it to bust like this, it's really blowing me away. I gotta go. <laughs> Vlog, it's been a good day. It's been a really good day and I honestly owe a lot of it to you. And I honestly hope this vlog inspired you because I'm ready to be on my shit. I feel like I'm sure you're on your shit. Like, let me not even try to clock you. Let me wash this mask off. God damn, that was hard to take off. I was supposed to go get brunch with Samira, but I actually called her. I was like, 
would you want to just come over? I can cook you breakfast because I'm trying to just eat clean and at home and she hasn't seen the house yet. So I miss her. I'm excited to see her. She was like, that sounds fire. I was like, period. I'm going to do that. We'll see her in the morning. And then I have a call with an organizer, which I'm really excited about. I have a few calls tomorrow and then mom's coming over. I'm going to cook her dinner. Seriously, I'm just a little chef or something. I'm actually going to play some Fortnite. I think that was Buki just texting me that he's ready to play. Okay, I didn't end up playing. <laughs> I ended up being on FaceTime for two hours. Like, I, I realize whenever I'm in my own zone, like at home, I be on FaceTime. Like, I like being alone with my thoughts, but I think my thoughts lead me to wanting to talk to people. <laughs> and I'm like, mm, let me just see how they're doing. I'll just drop a little FaceTime. So I also feel like I'm a super emotional person. Also, I've also come to realize I'm a super emotional person. Like, I feel like I'm unbothered a lot of the times, but I don't think so. I think I've convinced myself that I'm unbothered, but I'm sensitive. And I think you guys already knew that. You guys are like, you're just realizing that. Like, okay. I just deeply care. And I don't think it's a fault. I think sometimes it's exhausting. <laughs> I deeply care. I think that's what kind of leads to like my sway of stress too. I don't know. I feel like a lot of you guys can probably relate to me. So let me know. I feel like overthinking is just like, I'm going to get some sleep. It's 11 p.m. I'm going to see if we wake up tomorrow. What do you guys think? Do I wake up tomorrow morning? I hope you guys enjoyed this day in my life. Let me know if you guys want some more of this kind of video. I feel like this is fun. I like this chunk like just one full day for youtube and then i'm gonna edit tomorrow sprinkle on some tiktoks like i think i like a daily vlog vibe especially when it's a full fun day i'm ready to sleep y'all i hope you have the best week and i'll see you guys next week